I think we need to separate LGB from T Q Q I P A A two S. It's like the worst password imaginable. Yeah, we need to separate LGB from T Q Q I P A A two S. Okay, because everything past the LGB starts to become dogmatic sociology activism. And we're no longer dealing with people just wanting their rights. It's a demand on society to look at people differently. And it's not the kind of, I, I mean, you can't demand that. It's the same problem that I, I've said this over and over and over and over again with, in the 90s, I, the ACT UP uh, attitude. You have to accept me. That attitude. It's been crap. It was crap then. It's crap now. And now it's just like the biggest thing in these circles that say they're for social justice. That kind of attitude is the biggest thing. It's, it's accusational. It's... It's, it's making demands and it's like, no, you're not, you're not going to, people are not going to come to your demands. They're not going to meet your demands, period. And the more you, you demand it that they meet your demands, the less they're going to care about you. You, you cannot make demands like that. This sort of stuff has to happen a little bit more organically. Yeah, it, it takes a while. But we've, we've made such great strides. Now it looks like that's all coming, going to probably come to an end. We're probably going to have a hint of the dominionism that's within our government. We're probably going to have some of them making things kind of shitty for us. You could say, well, that means we should we should all stand together. No, I'm not going to stand together for for dogmatic sociology activism. I'm not going to stand together for the progressive stack. I don't believe in the progressive stack. I think that's a crappy way to go about to to, to go about things. It's stupid. If it's some sort of if it's if it's an experiment, you know, what happens when we do this? Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. But to carry out meetings that way, to carry out policy that way, to make it sound like we're we should make the government do this sort of thing, and, and you know, a, a cross between that and and the uh, uh, equality of outcome, you know, that progressive stack goes even further than equality of outcome. It puts anyone who theory wise is the most oppressed gets to have the most say and gets to have the most control. That's, that's no, no, no. I understand that we can't do things purely based on popular vote when it comes to, to people's rights, or it would have taken a lot longer for slavery to end. But in the case of what is going on now, a lot of these things, it's the most sorry type, sorry excuse for oppression that I've ever heard of. Um, and then the microaggressions and you know, you're nitpicking. You're, you're being ridiculous. We still have, we st again, we still have states where gay people can be discriminated against. You're not focusing on all that, that at all. It's all about this social justice stuff. So you're essentially saying, fuck gay men. Hmm. <laughs> well, no, maybe not say that. Maybe not say it that way, because that... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it just, you're, you're saying you don't care about gay men anymore. You know? And it sucks. 
know, we're no longer oppressed because we can get married. The real issue is microaggressions. The real issue is heteronormativity, right? I'm going to be so angry because most things are around, that are around are geared towards those who are in the overwhelming majority. We live in a time now where we could be doing, we could be having the most independent content possible. And instead of doing that, we're trying to change a, a like, like Hollywood. We're trying to change Hollywood. We're trying to, and it's just like, well, no, they're, you're not going to change them. They'll change if they realize that they're dying. Then they'll change. But the only way they're going to be dying is if we show them that other types of entertainment is more adored by the general public than the crap that, that Hollywood puts out. You know, feeling underrepresented you know, we're in this age of information, we're in this age where you can... I, I mean, this, this platform is actually quite amazing. We're self-publishing. How cool is that? And anyone around the world who lives in a country that doesn't censor the internet can see us. How amazing is that? We have all these amazing abilities, and all we can do is bitch and whine that all this legacy stuff still does things the old ways. And then we want to bitch and whine because people who are trying to be nice and decent and, and are, are being... You're considering them bigoted because they didn't word something the right way, or they didn't look at you the right way, or they didn't say, oh yes, you're so, oh, you're so wonderful because you're this oppressed demographic. You're so wonderful. So now they're bigots because they don't do that. No, no, just no. You have to accept me. No. That's a shit mindset then. It's a shit mindset now. You are not going to force people to have a different mindset. That doesn't come by force. That comes by people realizing that even though people are quite different, there are a number of things that, are, that we have that are the same. There are a number of... in our humanity, we have, we have many things in common when it comes to our humanity are caring about other people. When people realize, hey, no matter how different we are, we still have all this stuff that's in common. Because we're people, we're humans. Everything right now seems to be about dividing us. How in the world can we be united when people are screaming division? And now I'm just picturing someone standing on, there, there's this cliff, You're, they're, they're standing there, you picture something like Ricola, right, 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 they're standing there, and they just go, division, D division, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, I got way too much of a kick out of that, okay, um... It's, it's, that was, that's, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm being almost as bad as Alf, right? <laughs> I'd kill me! <laughs> um, people can claim, oh, you're being divisive with the trying to separate LGB from the TQQIPAA2S. I'm like, no. I'm trying to fight for my rights. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, you fight for your rights. I'll fight for my rights. I will fight for your rights if, quite frankly, if they're things that make sense to have as a right. You don't have the right to not be offended. Sorry. You don't have the right to 
get rid of the First Amendment. You don't have the right to tell people what they're allowed to think. I mean, you can you can tell people this stuff, yes, but when you you think they should be censored at the at with some sort of consequence, yeah, there's a problem. You're you're wanting to get rid of the First Amendment. It's pathetic when you want to treat people like crap because they have a belief system. It's it's bullshit. Now, you know, I flat out do not understand why anyone gay would subscribe to an Abrahamic religion. It makes no sense to me. I think that's nuts. But I'm certainly not going to treat someone like shit for it unless they're trying to do something to take away my rights. So as I've said before, if there is a Muslim that they believe in everything that's in the Quran, but they treat everyone around them decently, who am I to judge? And I know I've said that before, but I think it needs to be said over and over again. Same with the Christians. As long as you're treating people decently, cool. You start treating people like shit because of your belief, expect to be chastised for it. Expect to be called out for it. Whatever your belief is. And right now, we've got this dogmatic sociology activism that has a belief that you're trying to cram down everyone's throats. And it's no better than the indoctrination that, that the religious people have been doing. When I start reading conversations about... Like, I, I went to some places to try to figure out what all of the thing after LGBT, what it all means. And on some of those sites, I found discussions about people just demand, well, this is how you should think of this. This is how you should think of this word. And this is how people should be thinking of this. It, it was just, oh, I, I, I wish I would have... I wish I would have saved a link to it, but it, it reminded me of when I was in Sunday school and people are saying, well, no, this is, this is what the Bible really means when it talks about the devil doing this, and this is what this really means, and this is what God really wants, and this is what the devil really, this is what heaven really is, this is what hell really is, and this is why people should feel bad, and this is what, why people should feel good, and all of that sort of thing. And these conversations that I saw on, on these on these these this forum was no different. And I've seen this sort of thing before. I've seen people talk about this stuff before. If you're wanting to look at it in some sort of scholarly fashion, I, I, I guess you know go for it. Just like if you want to somehow try to look at at religion in a scholarly fashion, okay, fine, go for it, do it, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Don't expect others to jump onto it. <laughs> Sorry, just no. You know, it'd be nice if, going back to the, the, the beginning of the, you know, what this video is mainly about, it'd be nice if gay people weren't still being discriminated against in some states. It'd be nice if it, or I should say, it'd be nice if it wasn't still legal to discriminate against gay people in some states. It'd be nice. But, you know... I guess that's uh, that's just me being a, a white cisgender male and and who has who has privilege and um, I shouldn't talk about issues that directly affect me. I should only talk about issues of the most oppressed and I'd pretty much only care about those who are at the top of the progressive stack. Yeah, that that's all right. I I I, I have no interest in that. And I hope more people defect from this thing. I detach from the politics of TQQIPAA2S. If the trans thing wasn't pushing this, uh, you know, uh, you have to memorize 72 or more genders or you're a bigot and you, you have hate speech if you don't remember things um you know if the the trans if t in lgbt didn't wasn't doing that i could i could i could see you know still having t in there yeah i'd i'd, I'd rather just keep the sexuality issues as sexuality issues keep you know keep the gender issues as gender issues sexuality issues as sexuality issues race issues as race race issues 
don't hijack and blackmail other minorities into going with your movement. And that's what's going on. The, the sociology activists, dogmatic ones, are hijacking and blackmailing people in, that are in the LGB community. And it's upsetting. And it needs to stop. And I, I hope that there is eventually a push to separate LGB from the dogmatic sociology activists. Be great if I could be somewhere that may not be as warm to uh, gay people, but to be able to say there that I'm gay and they're not and they're not going to assume I'm someone that wants to shit all over straight white people. Because that's 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 what this this kind of has done, you know. It's like, oh well, you're part of that religion. Oh, you're gay. Oh, you must be part of that religious, uh, socio socio political religious uh, uh, viewpoint and movement. So you must look at me like a pile of crap. Well, guess what? I look at you like you know. It's this. All this stuff is is hurting gay people badly. It's hurting gay people badly. Yes, sociology, dogmatic sociology activists, you are hurting the gay community. You're hurting gay people. You're hurting lesbians. You're hurting bisexuals. You're hurting genuinely transsexual people. You're hurting them. And for what? What's your end goal? Do you really think you're going to force the majority of the populace to conform to your beliefs? <sighs> Having said all of that, you know, you are making dominionism rise up. You have caused this to happen. I'll say flat. Some of you, I, I, I would say many of you are some of the reason why Trump won. Now, I know that there's this m recent news about uh, uh, Russia hacking the, uh, uh, what is it, 39 states and they, uh, over 90,000 records or something like that. And, uh, but there was even, but there's still, there's not enough proof that they actually modified the records. They tried, but... Whatever, even considering that, there are a lot of people who still voted for Trump. And some of the reason for this is the majority of the country, the demographic of the majority of the country, is sick of being demonized just for being the demographic they are. I'm sorry you don't like to look at that. But you can't demonize the majority demographic of a country and expect good results how stupid are you and so the other side of this is unless more people who were trump supporters start to criticize trump and i know you could say, well we shouldn't have to criticize and mainstream media does that all on its own i mean you can you can say that all you want but the narrative, you've already pushed the narrative that mainstream media is fake news. So if that's fake news and the only alternative seems to be Trump worshipping and n n barely any of you that seem to support Trump seem to be very critical of Trump. I, I understand that most Democrats were not critical of Obama. At the same time, you know, uh, it, at least there was kind of a reason. He's intelligent, well-spoken. He gives the best speeches of any president I can... It, definitely the best speeches out of any president in my lifetime. Probably my mother's lifetime. Um, I don't know whether it'd be in my grand... would have been in my grandmother's lifetime. Um, but damn good at speeches damn good at making people feel good you know there were uh you know even republicans were were would say yeah obama really can do a feel good speech now feel good doesn't mean doesn't really mean shit when it comes to policy and obama was a warmonger 
but at least there was something positive. Trump? Just what? What is positive? The fact that he uses small words, short sentences, and, you know, kind of sounds like he never got past, you know, sixth grade. Is that a good thing? Is is his, uh, the way that he looks at women and treats women, is that a good thing? Is his, uh, you know, lining up with dominionists, is that a good thing? Is his believing that Christians should have special rights over everyone else, is that a good thing? Um, no, that's part of the dominionism, right? I mean, he may, he himself may not, may or may not be a Christian, but he seems to believe that uh, Christian values should rule this country. And, uh, you know, is that a good thing? Well, to the, to the dominionists out there, yeah, that's, that's great. But what about all the atheists out there who support Trump? I mean, some of you are, are some of you are so so unwilling to say anything bad about Trump. He Trump could uh, could literally try to make try to make the Bible, but parts of the Bible into law, and a lot of the the Trump's atheist supporters would be like, "Oh, well, he's just trying to add good morality to the government." That's how brainwashed some of some of the people are out there are. You know, I'm not sure, just, I'm just not even quite sure what he would have to do for some of the people that support him because he's anti-SJW. Um, yeah, what, what would he have to do? I mean, we can see how far things have gone on this platform, you know, here on YouTube. We can see, and also VidMe, we can see how nasty people get and what people are willing to put up with and support because you know after all they're anti sjw so i would tend to say that the the anti sjw's they i think a lot of times they're worse because they they're mean and they know they're mean and they know they're being ruthless and they know they're being cruel and they just continue to do it. The SJWs, some of there's some that know they're being mean, but most of them aren't trying to be mean. They're just so incredibly misguided, thinking that their ideology can be made into reality without becoming a dystopia. You know, misguided. Even these people that are saying, uh, you're just a white male. Even the people that are that are saying that, they believe they're doing the right thing. That's what makes the SJWs not as bad as the anti-SJWs who are who do this stuff to be mean, they know they're being mean, they represent the same kind of bullying mindset that you'd that you'd get in elementary school or middle school used to be high school but over the years that's gotten a little bit better um, than it was at one time it still can get nasty but it's I'd say that the meanest periods would be elementary school and middle school 